Carlsbad, um, and how the IRP continuing on with the gas plants um, provides very few jobs. Um, we haven't dealt with the coal plants as well. And if we switch now to, in the proportion more to wind and solar, we're looking at thousands of jobs throughout the state of clean energy um, without the toxic assets and the toxic implications that we're going through both in Farmington and in Carlsbad and throughout the state. <clears throat> and the millions of dollars that are going to pay for municipal utilities right now could be repurposed and pay for housing um, and other basic needs for the poorest people of the state. Uh, the long-term costs uh, of solar, of nuclear, um, I'm not, uh, sorry, of, of uh, coal and nuclear, um, we always wind up, the poorest people of New Mexico wind up paying for this for generations and generations. Um, we're looking at Holtec, we're looking at Carlsbad, we're looking at everything that's going on in Farmington, <coughs> and why does the burden always go upon the poorest people in the country, and, and especially in our state, as one of the poorest states in the country. And so I would ask as we go through the IRP that we shift to wind and solar as soon as we possibly can and start investing in the education um, and the job training for the people that are actually needed the most. Um, we can look at Santa Fe Community College. There's already these training programs going on and if we can go ahead, they're, they're in place, and if we can go ahead and convert to solar uh, and wind now, we're gonna implore more, employ more of the poor people that need this while creating fewer downstream consequences in the future. Um, and then the last thing I just want to talk about, there's a lot of concern about the software model uh, that was used um, to come up with this and uh, leaning more towards gas and coal again when we know um, both on a national and international level that wind and solar um, are exactly where we should be going now. It's the most responsible for the poorest people in our state that we actually step up and have their voices heard. Thank you. Thank you very much.